Welcome back to Curious Minds. Today, we are going to study the medieval period. The names of the participants who are going to explain are myself, Subramani, Ananya, Pradima, Banya, Prakhar, and Swarit. So, without any further delays, let's start the video. So, this is a short information. Medieval period. History is divided into three periods, which are the ancient, the medieval, and the modern period. In Europe, the period from 5th to 15th century is known as the medieval period. In India, the period from 8th to 18th century marks the beginning and the end of the medieval period. During medieval period, Indian culture was highly influenced by social, economic, and political structures of Europe, America, and Asia. So let's learn more about it. Sources of information. Sources of information is divided into two parts, which are literature and archaeological findings. In literature, literature is divided into two parts, which are religious and non-religious. In religious, there are Puranas and Smritis and in non-religious there are travel accounts and autobiographies. Now let's come to archaeological findings. Archaeological findings is divided into three parts which are excavations, coins and inscriptions. Historical accounts. One of the historical accounts is the Ain A. Akbari written by Abdul Fazil Alami. And the second is Prithvira Jaso, written by Chan Bhatti. And the third is Taki Ke Hind, written by Al Birbu. So, foreign travelers. So, we are for the first one. We are going to talk about is Ibn Battuta. So, he was a Moroccan traveler and a philosopher. He traveled for 30 years to Central Asia, Southeast Asia, China, and Iberian Peninsula. The second traveler we are going to talk about is Marco Polo. He was a Venetian traveler who traveled from Venice, Rome, in the Mediterranean Sea to Middle East. He traveled from Iran and Persia from here through the Silk Route Beijing, China. Then he stayed for 24 years in Asia and documented Asian countries not yet explored by Europeans. The next traveler we are going to talk about is Borneo, a French traveler who visited India in 1656. Travel accounts is an important source of history of Mughal, Mughal India. Major achievements. The significant achievement of this period was the popularity and availability of paper which encouraged the writing of records. Rulers and temples of the monasteries collected those manuscripts which are major sources of information about this period. This was also a period of great technological development like the Persian bee, spinning bee, etc. Excavation of medieval towns, sarais, and villages along with paintings, monuments, sculptures, coins, and inscription also give us a, a lot of information about the different aspects of the society and culture. Okay, so hope you all understood. Uh, the short information of the medieval period well so now it's time for question uh, the questions will be asked according to this chapter so today's question round will be asked by vanya so i hand over it vanya vanya you can start uh, yes uh, i will ask my first question uh, about this lesson uh, what you understood is to Subramani. Your first question is, who wrote the book Ami Akbari? Okay, uh, I think so answer is Abul Fazal. 
very correct uh, and the second question to you is the significant achievement of medieval period was the popularity and availability of paper very correct uh, third question for you is literary sources of information of medieval period are oh uh, yes i know uh, answers will be smritis and puranas and also autobiographies and travel accounts correct a uh, fourth question for you is the prithvi raj rasu was written by chand bardai fifth a very important question medieval period was a period of great technology development like ah uh, yes uh, answer was paper spinning wheel and uh, ha persian wheel correct uh, now my next question is to rithima say so first question is the national archives of india is located in delhi correct uh, then uh, next question for you is taki ke hind is a famous travel account correct uh, it archaeological findings of the medieval period are um uh, inscriptions and mm -hmm. coins and excavations of towns and monuments and uh, autobiographies correct uh, next question for you is uh, language in which any akbari was written uh persian very good uh, the next question for you is very important the first newspaper published in india on 29th january 1780 was the bengal gazette very good uh, my next question will be for you ananya okay. uh, your first question is the materials used before paper are oh okay um there are many materials uh, used before paper like um, wood bark leaves then parchment paper then stones cloth metal and papyrus all the above are correct uh, okay. next question for you is uh, first paper mill in india was started at um ha uh, serampur in hubli very good uh, next question is the venetian tra foreign traveler who documented his stay in asian countries for 24 years oh um 24 years okay marco polo correct uh, next question for you is in india which period marks the beginning and end of medieval period um eighth um, to eighteenth century c e correct next question it's the last question for all of us the period of from fifth to fifteenth century c e is called as the medieval period in europe is it a true or false now he told the um, answer so is it a true or false um for me uh to but um i want to ask that uh, what are you telling about means in europe right yeah in europe the question i repeated the period from 5th to 15th century ce is, is called as the medieval period in europe he showed, told the answer so you can say whether it's true or false um for me it's true uh very correct very true okay okay yes so thank you vanya for asking us the questions so with this we have came to an end of the video hope you enjoyed the video and got lots of information please like share and subscribe to our channel and also stay tuned for the next our upcoming informative videos till that time
Bye. 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 Bye.